Hive Tyrant. Huge, huge pewter model. Look at this. Bone Sword and Lash Whip. Bone Sword and Lash Whip. That's what you need. Really a, a, a sweet model. Okay, the Hive Tyrant. One of the um, really, really good hardening units in the Codex. Um, like the Eldar, which I started off with when I began playing Warhammer, um, uh, the new Tyranid Codex has lots and lots of supporting units. Um, not everything's just a big tank that'll go around and kill everything. Um, there's lots of fragile units or units that are really expensive, and you have to use supporting units to make them really effective. Um, the Hive Tyrant is awesome in that it's both a tank, um, it's um, a fire magnet, and it's it's also a, good, a really good supporting unit. Um, so it starts off with uh, six wounds, or sorry, four wounds, toughness six, uh, which I believe is the same as last last edition. Um, Lash whips and bone sword and siding talons. It's a great start. You don't have to pay anything for that. Um, I would really honestly just keep them with that. Um, siding talons, I mean, the only thing you're going to replace them with is a gun, and you don't want guns, remember. Gun's bad. You don't want guns. They're tyranids. Um, and... You get to reroll once anyway with that. It's a Psyker, and it comes with all of the Tyranid Psyker powers for the Hive Tyrant. You don't have to buy them, which is awesome. Quickly going over each of the Psychic powers, there's the Whore, which um, you choose a specific unit within 12 inches, and it has to take a morale check or fall back. Um, Leech Essence is really good. Um, automatically hits a single non-vehicle unit within 12 inches. The, uh, the target immediately suffers D3 strength, 3 AP2 hits. Um, Hive Tyrant recovers a single lost wound for each of each wound inflicted using this power up to a starting number of wounds. So if your Hive Tyrant is getting beaten down a little bit, instead of taking regeneration, just go ahead and hit a weak unit with this. Um, honestly, even against Space Marines, you get D3 hits. Every time or two you use it, you're going to get a wound back at least. Um, and it's free. You come with it, so why not? Um, it, it's, it's really a, a good ability. Um, then there's a paroxysm. Parox I cannot pronounce this word. Let me give it one more try. Actually, it's probably going to take like ten more. Just, just be patient with me. Um, I'm just going to say paroxysm. Paroxysm. Parox 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 Paro um, per, per, paroxysm, 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 who the crap names this shit, um, shooting attack that hits a single unit within 12 inches, um, they get their weapon scale, ballistic still skill reduced to one until the beginning of the Hive Tyrant's next turn, how sweet is that, um, not a lot of times you're going to be able to use it really effectively, um, but you could, uh, you never know when you're going to be next to a heavy weapon squad or some, uh, veterans jump out of a, uh, chimera to just completely melt all your Carnifex to death and then, psh, oh, your ballistic skill won. Too bad. Um, might come in handy. And the best thing is you don't have to buy it. You already have it. So you can just use it if the occasion arises. Um, and then Psychic Scream. All enemy units within 2d6 inches of the Hive Tyrant, um, have to take a blah, blah, blah. take a leadership test. Yeah, sorry. And if they fail, they suffer a wound for each point they failed by, with no armor saves allowed. Again, you're surrounded by space marines. You use that ability. Odds are, at least one squad's going to fail, and they're going to lose a guy or two. And it's free. Did I mention that it's free? You don't target a unit with this one, so you're not dedicated to assault that unit. Um, it's a good way to soften up a huge mob of guys you're getting ready to charge. So, um, that's my long-windedness on the Hive Tyrant Psychic Powers. Um, going into the Hive Tyrant Special Rules, he has a rule where you can, or there's three different abilities that you can buy for 25 points each. Um, one gives one squad of troops in your, of your choice the outflank rule and um, brings in reserves. Um, you get a plus one to your roll. And the best part is that, 
well, you add plus one to your roll, you don't get to choose um, for your reserves. Um, that's Hive Commander. There's an indescribable horror, um, which is any unit assaulting the Hive Tyrant has to pass a leadership test. Um, if, it's t if it's passed, they get to assault. If they fail, then they just stand there and they don't assault. Um, uh, then there's a real old adversary. Um, all Tyranid units within six inches have um, the preferred enemy, which is really good. Um, I'll talk about use of that ability with some other things in a future video using combinations of units. Okay, so Hive Tyrant, 170 points. Not cheap, um, but it's certainly worth it. I mean, how many armies can get something with toughness 6 and 4 wounds for 170 points? Um, most armies don't have anything like this, so it's, it's, it's really awesome, I guess is just what it is. You have lots and lots of options here. Um, Twin Link Death Spitter, Devourers, lots of weapons you can choose. Um, Stranglethorn Cannon, Venom, Heavy Venom Cannon. Um, again, those are all really cool, but Scything Talons and Bones or Lash Whips are cooler. They're more cooler. Um, some of you would say that they're Frieza. Freezer. Um, you can also have ability uh, options for adrenal glands, toxin sacs, acid blood, implant attack, toxic miasma, regeneration. Um, toxin sacs again. No, don't even bother. You're tough. You're strength six. Okay. Um, acid blood. Meh, maybe. It does like some wounds when you get hurt or something weird like that. Um, implant attack does two wounds for when you do one, but it's only on the same model. Just don't bother with this crap. Lots of lots and lots of upgrades are really cool, but they're not effective for their points. Um, regeneration, again, wouldn't bother with it. Um, the only things from these lists I would consider is um, adrenal glands, but you don't really need them um, since you're initiative five, and re, uh, toxic miasma. Toxic Miasma is a really cool ability that not nearly enough units have in the new Codex. Um, at the end of each player's turn, every non-vehicle enemy in base contact with the Tyranid with Toxic Miasma must pass a toughness test or suffer a wound. Um, I mean, it's just an extra little punch to the gut. Um, and, I mean, you could honestly, like, if you're surrounded by orcs and they also take a toughness test, you can kill, like, five or six of them with this thing. And then your other options. Um, you can get a Thorax Swarm with either Electroshock Grubs or some other stuff. More shooting stuff that you don't need. Um, 25 points for that. Armored Shell. 40 points for a 2 plus save. It's really debatable. If you're up against Imperial Guard, I'd say almost definitely. Because things like Layman Russes and Missile Launchers are AP3. Um, it depends on if you have the points. It's really expensive. And then there's wings, which are ungodly expensive, 60 points. Um, I honestly think they're worth it. Um, you can kind of keep the high tyrant with your other units and then jump forward and strike a unit really hard, and then the rest of them can catch up the following turn. Um, I really think it's worth it. And then you have the tyrant guard, 60 points of pop. They're definitely not cheap either. Um, two wounds and a three plus save, toughness six. Um, they have Scything Talons, and they can, um, Scything Talons and Rending Claws, sorry, and they can get Bone Swords and Lash Whips. Um, at the very least, give them Lash Whips. Yep, yep. Lash Whips for five points, why not? Make things go to initiative one. Um, that's really pretty much all I've got. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's it for the, the, the Hive Tarn anyway, not the Swarm Lord. Swarm Lord's still coming up.